reason why we built FAPSCO is to unite the Filipino online professionals industry to also promote collaboration with each other. And of course, we wanted to help produce skilled online professionals, specialists, and of course, leaders. We've created Popsco with the vision to become an organization that supports all Filipino online professionals to be successful in their online careers and businesses, regardless of their affiliations. I joined Popsco because as an online professional who's working at the comfort of my home, I needed other individual can share with me on this freelancing journey. The reason why we have built the Filipino Online Professionals Service Cooperative is to help the ICD graduates as parent freelancers and this is also to help them develop, explore, and acquire new skills when it comes to online professional industry. Ang paglambo o kalampusan sa usa ka organisasyon nagadepende sa kalidad sa mga miyembro o mga lideres nini. Ang FAPSCO dili lang adunay maanindot kayo nga advokasya o misyon na matabangan kitang tanang mga online professionals na magkahiusa, mulampo o mutubo kita sa atong pagpanarbaho o pagnegosyo online. Um, FAPSCO for me is a digital opportunity for me to develop and share my skills. I joined FAPSCO as one of the founding members because I knew uh, Fofsco is going to be backed by other veteran online professionals and freelancers, thereby having an um, experienced, solid, and passionate founding members that we have today. I joined Fofsco because the vision of the co-op aligns with my personal vision to provide much-needed support to online professionals nationwide. I joined Fofsco because the people that I've met have the same values, mission, and vision as mine. And that is to provide assistance, free training, and coaching to those who want to jumpstart their career as a freelancer. I joined the Fopsco community because it promotes collaboration and set up competition. I joined Fopsco because this is a group with a helping hand. I wanted to be part of an organization that would be a pioneer, uh, a pioneer group of individuals who will be working to promote online freelance. It's a great privilege to be part of the first national-based cooperative for online professionals with a pool of seasoned freelancers, business owners, digital jobs, PH trainers, and trainees in our community. I get to connect with them and grow my network. So joining an organization like FAPSCO helps me develop leadership and digital skills within an environment of my peer. My FAPSCO family is a community that, that helps you nurture um, your skills and help you gain the knowledge and the skills that you need. One of the reasons why I joined FOPSCO, it is important for us to have a uh, you know, network, network of, a network of people um, that could help us in terms of just simple advice. So the reason why I joined FOPSCO is because it was founded by people who I trusted people who already established in the industry and they thought that it was such a great opportunity to be able to work with them. I think Popsco because it's the first national-based um, cooperative for online-based professionals. So I joined Popsco because I love the values, its mission and vision to help more Filipinos. See why I joined Popsco? It is all because uh, the values, the mission of Popsco really aligned to my values also. I joined the Filipino Online Professionals Cooperative because I wanted our individual reputations to have a collective reputation for excellence. Well, the reason why I joined Popsco is to have a community where I can grow as an online professional. The reason why I joined Popsco is to give back to the community and be able to help each other. I joined Popsco because I want to share my skills and my talent with all online professionals. The reason why I joined Popsco is that I don't want to miss the opportunity to join the first cooperative that is created specifically for online freelancers. I joined Popsco because I can see that it will help me improve and develop my skills and my personality. I joined Popsco because I am very inspired with their achievements and advocacy in promoting and helping Filipino freelancers. Being a member of Popsco 
surely brings a lot of wonderful memories on how I started out with my career. I joined Fopsco because I want to be a part of this online professional community where I can gain more knowledge, skills, and support from the group. I joined Fopsco because Harmony is Fopsco family relationship and understanding between business associates that bring me a peace of mind. Why choose Fopsco? They offer opportunities and trainings for freelancers. First national-based cooperative for online professionals, which is Fopsco. A community of expert freelancers in the Philippines, which gave me the opportunity to further hone my skills in social media. I joined Fopsco because I believe in a mission, vision, goals, and objectives of the organization to further enhance and develop the industry of online professions and virtual work in the Philippines. I joined Fopsco because I saw the potential growth is not just reaching one's goals and being successful, but there is camaraderie. So I'm here with Fopsco and it is my way of paying it forward to the guidance that I also received when I was a startup. Joining Fopsco, I finally found my home, a family, a community of like-minded individuals who share the same passion, vision, and pains. I joined Fopsco because I want to empower my fellow freelancers to be the best that they can be. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Fab Stocks, friend, ka friends, and ka online professionals. This show is for you. This is actually the first Fab Stock show of the year. Kaya meron kami another special guest. But before that, Fab Stock is brought to you by Fab Stock, of course, the national-based cooperative for and by Filipino online professionals. If you haven't checked our page yet, you may go to facebook.com/fabstock.com. Ph. You may also find us in Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn, or check out our website, popsco.ph. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat sa aming walang sawang sumusuporta ng mga ka-members, and of course, ang Popsco Media and ang SMM team na katulong namin sa pagpapalaganap ng ating adhikain, ang lalim ng Tagalog Kosher. Ang lalim nga, Ros! <laughs> <laughs> Nahawa ka na sa akin, Ross. Konti lang. <laughs> Kamusta ka? I'm good naman. Ito, di ba? Uh, medyo inarrange ko yung aking uh, dito sa kwarto. Kaya nakikita nyo, iba yung likod ko. <laughs> Oo nga. Mas so, maganda. Uh, mas maganda ba? O sige. Mm -hmm. Kasi para maiba-iba naman, di ba? Happy. Uh, bagong new year. Okay. Bagong mm -hmm. year. Bagong mm -hmm. arrangement ng furniture. Kasi wala naman tayo iba nga. Hindi pa pwedeng mag-arrange ng iba. <laughs> Mahirap i-arrange yung bahay, ano, furniture na lang. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. So, I am happy kasi, di ba, nandito ulit tayo. Nitong nakaraan, uh, hindi kasi tayo nag to kasi napaka busy busy ang ating mga schedules. Pero ngayon, nandito tayo at natutuwa ako. At meron tayong, um, di ba, sa pagkakatanda ko, isudyante mo ang ating schedule. guest ngayon. So, ipakilala mo na siya, Roche. Gusto Eto ko na siya makilala. Proud mother ako. Alright, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Teka, lalakyan ko na yung kodigo ko kasi alam nyo na ang tumatanda, humihina na ang mata. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce to you Miss Jessa Jane Tidong. She's the eldest of five children to a widow who, had, who left the country to fend for her family. At some mm -hmm. point, She had to make sacrifices. Siyempre, lahat naman ng mga nanay ganon, di ba? And stop studying to work and help her mom with her siblings' education. So, si Jessa, bata pa lang, meron na siyang, ano, meron na siyang heart to really sacrifice and help her family. She entered freelancing in 2013. Sabay lang kami, guys. 
as an appointment setter, halos pareho din pala kami ng pinagsimulan, di ba? At a rate of $1 per hour. Mas mataas ako nung nasimula ko, $1.58. Hi! She continued to jump from one project to another until she gained enough skills and experience to become a real estate executive assistant. Ito yung tinatawag nilang RIVA. Real estate VA. Right? She never stopped to learn and gain more knowledge, so she applied as a scholar for the DICT Social Media Marketing. Yan po ay yung sa Baguio, courtesy of Luzon Cluster 1. Luckily, she was able to gain something new, which added to her portfolio. Currently, she is a VA manager for two different, guys, not one, but two different full-time commercial real estate clients and handling a team of 20 VAs and three VAs. So magkaibang team, di ba? Respective. She believes that no matter how far along we think we are, we can still go up and level up. Higher and higher and higher. Does hard work always pay off? Well, it depends on one's view, sabi ni Chesa. How you can achieve something is more important than what you achieve. Totoo naman. Showing yourself that you have what it takes to dedicate yourself to a goal is a payoff that will follow you everywhere. So let's start this year with positivity along with Chesa and discover her story of giving her best in everything she does. Jessa, how are you today? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year, everybody! Thank you so much for this opportunity. I am very honored and it's always a pleasure to be with you, Ma'am Rosh, wherever it is. In Zoom or in Facebook, thank you so much. I cannot express how thankful I am for this opportunity to be able to, to share uh, my journey to everybody. Yan. Actually, mas excited ako kasi yung bawat kwento na fini-feature namin sa Fapstock, iba-iba siya. And um, gusto kong ma-share natin sa mas maraming tao para naman ma-inspire din sila na katulad mo, di ba, kung paano ka nagsimula. So, uumpisaan ko na share sa babang kain ko na yung sure. first question para kay Cesa. So, Cesa, uh, dun sa kwento mo nung nagsimula ka ng 2013 hanggang ngayon, nakaka-graduate mo ng DJT, what changed? mula nung, nung doon sa buong journey mo, ano yung nagbigay sa'yo ng momentum at paano nangyari na naging VA manager ka na? Go ahead and tell us your story. Okay, well, um, I always tell this to everybody because my story, comparing to my fellow trainees or to my co-trainees, is a lot different. So, for me, since 2013, from $1, <laughs> doon ako nagsimula as a humble um, appointment setter way back na actually, wala pa akong kalam-alam nung pumasok ako. So, normal sa life ng isang freelancer na kapag nag-a-apply ka talaga at newbie ka, um, i-reject ka. So, I have been rejected for maybe three or four times before I got one client who was able to try me without any other experience. So, this client, I got him from Upwork. So, you know, when you go to Upwork and you look at your competitors there, everybody has already gained hours. And then my profile is empty. So it would really make you feel inferior. It would really make you feel ashamed at some point. That's how I felt when I started. Pero inisip ko kasi, lahat naman ng tao nagsisimula sa wala. You will not reach step five if you don't start with step zero or step one. So ako, um, sinaga ako talaga, sige, $1 per hour. Go, go, go. We have quotas and um, ang naging sandalan ko lang talaga doon is myself. That is the biggest lesson I've learned in freelancing. You know, wala kang ibang sasandalan kundi yung sarili mo. You, nobody will sell you but you. Yun ang lagi kong sinasabi sa mga VA ko ngayon. If you can rate yourself 11 out of 10, why not? Because nobody will do that but you. So, when I entered the training, I was able to uh, impart some of my knowledge to my group mates, first and foremost, because they are the one who is really at close circles with me. And what I got from the training is, number one, my relationship with, with new people. So I'm very happy that when I ended the training with DJP, I was able to gain new friends. One of them I work with very closely right now, and she is watching. So hello, Joanne. Hello, Christine. <laughs> Hello, Thank you guys. Thank so for supporting us. So that's one of the things that I got from the DJT training. And number two, yung momentum ko talaga is nakuha ko sa training siguro on my first week. 
kasi before I entered the training, I was already doing good. I was at this level good. I have a client, I, I pay my bills, I support my family, I have time for my for everything that I want to do. Nandun ako sa level na yun. But when I entered the training, we have a task about planning. Na kailangan mo talagang isulat kung ano yung plano mo. And the difference is, I have made plans before, pero sa loob lang ng mind ko. Never ko siyang sinulat, never ko siyang kinwenta. I've never put a budget or I've never put a price tag to my dreams, like what Ma'am Ross told me when we were making the annual plan. I've never put a price tag on my dreams, on my plans, except when I entered the training. So ang effect ng sa akin, doon ko nakuha yung momentum ko na. Teka, bakit parang, parang nakontento na yata ako sa level na to? E pwede naman akong umakyat pa. Yun ang naisip ko dun sa training. So, the training was actually the reason why um, I pushed myself to go look for another client. And uh, I have to be honest, it was very easy because, because oh, I yeah, have sorry. a training at the back of my life. So, I <laughs> Gusto ko yan. Yung iba kasi ang hirap-hirap. Yung sabi niya, Shirley, it was very easy. Go ahead. Turo mo. <laughs> Pangalawa na siya sa, ano, napakinggan ko niyang ganyan. Di ba? Ano, di ba? Madali. Sige, go. Honestly, it was really easy. Alam niyo ni Ma'am Rush because um, I shared with her my journey with this client. Pagka umangat kami ng next step kapag nag-schedule na si client ng interview, sasabihin ko siya na, oh, Ma'am Rush, nag-move kami one step kasi interview na daw. Tapos nung nakuha din ako, siya yung una kong pinagsabihan na, it's official. Ito kami kong ganun. It was really easy. Why? Because um, the training was actually uh, my stepping stone or it was my food school at that time. Kasi inisip ko, nandun yung plans ko sa training na yun. Nandun yung dreams ko na idadagdag ko pa sa current dreams ko. Nandun yung aspirations ko. So, when I was actually freelancing, I've never given the thought to, you know, to how I can give back. Siyempre, ang nasa isip ko lang is, as long as I have a job, as long as I have financial freedom from my job, because of my job, okay na ako. So the training actually opened a new book or a new chapter in my life na kailangan ko din palang mag-include ng ibang tao. Yun yung isang nakuha ko. So that's the reason why I had to go look for another client. And um, this client actually hired me to be an appointment setter as well or a cold caller. And it was only on the first day that I learned that my job is going to change. So I was tasked to go look for other VAs. Hindi pa niya pinaliwana. Tapos nung medyo... Two hours na siguro kami nag-meeting. Kasi nagugulhan ako. So, I had to ask. Sabi ko, excuse me, sir. Are you telling me that I'm not going to be a caller anymore? Sabi ko, gano'n. Medyo nahiya pa. Kasi, malay mo, diba? Nagmamataas yung isip ko. Mali pala yung akala ko. And then sabi niya, oh, I thought it was clear to you. Yes, you're not going to be a caller anymore. You will be their manager. That's why I'm asking you to look for them. Sabi niya, gano'n. So, I'm like, oh my God. Really? <laughs> Parang, okay, this is, dun ko actually naisip na, uh, this is what's next for my career. Kasi uh, sometimes kasi sa atin, if we are doing good, the tendencies, we, we become too comfortable. We become very, very warm in that comfort place that we are not challenging ourselves to move out. Ganun yung problema na nakikita ko sa lahat ng mga freelancers. Yung bang, pag okay na okay na eh. Hindi ka na nag-iisip ng more. So, what changed for me during this training is that it was it was actually my my pushing force na maghanap ng ibang client because i had i had and i needed to include other people in my plans and because of the annual training uh, the annual plan that i keep telling everybody about yung price tag ng dreams ko unti unti ko na siyang nabubuo sa ngayon easily yan yung word term natin easily eh? so yes <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much for sharing, Jessa. Um, na, kaya nga na, na overwhelm ako nung di ba nung nagkwento ka sa akin na meron na meron ka ng client ulit, di ba? Nung kahit na first week pa lang yung training, and your journey is really um something na hindi nang yayari sa lahat ng virtual assistant. Sherlyn, ba kami tanong ka dali, makulit na ako. <laughs> Wala naman pa naman ako tano. Um, siguro ang um, katanungan ko na lang is um. Ano yung, di ba, na, na ano mo, yung mga training regarding that. So, madali yung training. <laughs> okay. So, Sorry. Uh, 
Parang okay, big, big, big okay, yata yung easy ba- na sinabi ko. Mayroon ka bang unforgettable <laughs> experience? Unforgettable experience during the class. Bakit mo nasabi yung madali? Or uh, mayroon, kahit konti, yung may, mayroon ka bang medyo uh, bago sa'yo doon sa mga pinag-aralan doon? Ah, meron. Number one doon is really Canva. Kasi hmm. my brother is using Canva for his online class. I've never really given a thought to even glance at it. Kasi nga iniisip ko, ah, hindi na. Kakailanganin ko pa yan. Ganun ako eh. But on the training, Canva was a really big part of all the tasks na ginagawa namin. I had to find a way to uh, to learn how to do it. And I don't know, it was ay, na easy. Easy. <laughs> it was easy ulit. <laughs> <laughs> ako kasi talaga autodidact ako. Um, I learn things fast if I'm doing them as well and by experiencing them. So rather than watching YouTube videos na alam kong maraming magsasabi na nakakatamad gawin yung mag-self-learning through videos without live interaction. Pero dito kasi sa dito kasi sa training, yung Canva, hindi lang namin siya... Actually, um... Yeah, it is a big part of the task kasi almost lahat ng task na naginawa na ginawa namin, meron at meron si Canva. So, yun ang number one na tumatak talaga sa akin na natutunan ko from the training. And number two is yung yung chatbot. Chatbot is a really big uh, is a really big learning for me as well because I I never even, you know, glance. Ito yung mga bagay na hindi ko talaga pinapansin noon eh. Yung mong parang, okay, hindi naman ako gagawa ng business, so bakit ako gagawa ng chatbot? Or bakit ko pakikailan mong pag-aralan yung chatbot? Wala naman akong online shop. Mga ganun ako noon eh. Pero nung, nung naisip ko, nung ginagawa ng chatbot, ha, sa bagay, hindi lang naman kailangan maging online seller or magkaroon ka ng online shop para gawin mo yung chatbot eh. mag apply siya actually in, in everything. Sa page, mga ganun. So, um, before joining the training as well, I already have a Facebook page na parang, I don't know, may time kasi na, may time kasi sa akin na pag-feel ko lang yung gawin at the moment na tumatak sa akin na, sige, gawa nga ako ng page para mag-form ako ng ganito. Pinabayaan ko siya. So, nabuhay lang ulit yung page ko dahil sa training. Alam mo yun? Yung, yung bang parang, it's, number one, it's because of the task. Pero number two, naisip ko nga naman na bakit ko pa siya ginawa kung bibitawan ko lang. Yung bang ganun. The training is one of the, like I said, it's a pushing force na pipilitin akong ipipilitin, hindi lang naman ako, ipipilitin kami itulak na gawin. And at the end of the day, it was beneficial. Ganun din yung, um, I don't know if there are watchers here who are who are familiar with the DICP or not, but part of the training is to have 21 days campaign na magpo-post ka talaga sa Facebook page mo. Ako nung una, medyo nahiya ako kasi inisip ko, uy, pag nakita to ng friends ko, ano to? <laughs> Yung lalas sa Instagram ko, pag nakita nila, ano to? Pero, nung nag-start ako mag-post, I keep getting, lalo na sa Instagram, I keep getting um, reactions and interactions from related pages na hindi ko alam na mapapansin pala nila yung page ko. It's because of the campaign. So, one one good thing also that you can get from this training is yung network mo. Mag-build siya ng network mo slowly na hindi mo napapansin. Akala mo lang gumagawa ka ng assignment. Hindi mo alam, after two days, may result pala yung assignment na ginagawa mo. So, hindi lang siya naging assignment. Naging parang career builder siya at, at the end of the day. Parang blessing in disguise. Ah, okay. Nakonect pala ako sa ganitong page dahil sa assignment na to. So, hindi na siya assignment eh. Naging, naging career grower pa siya, di ba? Career builder pa siya. I think... Um, If there are newbies watching right now and who will watch this, don't be afraid siguro na mag-join sa mga ganyan na programs. Because bihira lang, bihira kayong makahanap ng mga programs that will really help you. It's not, um, sometimes kasi pag uh, dito kasi sa Philippines, pag nakita kasi nilang free, ang tendency ay low class yan. Ganun siya eh. Ay, free. Ay, wala. Tulang yan. Kasi after yun, kailangan mo buy para makuha yung mga best na lessons. Ganun. But this training is actually very good for a newbie. So kung merong nanonood mga newbie dito, if you want to gain more knowledge, this is the training that's made for you. I hope. Oh! <laughs> May promotion! <laughs> diba? Gusto ko yung sinabi mo kanina na um, you realized that you wanted to help other people. How did it came to 
paano mo siya na-realize na kailangan mong tumulong or gusto mo palang tumulong sa iba? Um, well, not everybody is knowledgeable with how we do freelancing. No? Some of them are just thinking na freelancing will mean yung example, artist ka, maghahanap ka ng i-paint dyan, i-benta. Ganun ang thinking kasi nila ng freelancing. They don't know that freelancing is also a profession. I am very proud because, um, <clears throat> sorry, I am an undergraduate. I took up a medical course, but I did not finish it because I had to stop. So for me, um, freelancing is really, really a profession. Kasi hindi, yung, mga, yung mga taong nag-freelance, hindi naman basta-basta napupulot yung mga alam nilang gawin eh. Magpugulat ka nga yung isang, meron akong napanood na isang video na mangingis na siya. And then it turns out after he he learned some things, naging graphic designer siya. Those are those are more inspiring stories than my story. But here, um, here on the training as well, meron kasi kami task about niche. So I had to I had to really. Tinanong ko si Mam Rosh. Eh, sabi ko, Mam Rosh, paano kung wala akong niche? <laughs> Actually, I'm really really confused kung ano ang magiging niche ko kasi pansin ko parang lahat naman ng ginagawa ko <laughs> yoko nang sabihin easy magre-react si Ma'am Shirley <laughs> okay lang okay lang sinasabi ko lang kung ano yung ako. ano <laughs> kung ano yung naramdaman mo <laughs> pero really uh, in this training you mapapaisip ka talaga eh, kasi your mind will be forced to think of um, of ideas and to think of other stuff that you haven't really thought about so ako I've never really considered my niche. Parang kung isa akong freelancer, talat ako, lahat na lang ang ginagawa ko, alam ko, hindi ako nagpo-focus sa isang bagay. So when I when we were in training, I have to dig deep within myself and sa mga skills ko kung saan ba talaga ako magaling. And ang clue ko doon, kung saan ako magaling, na willing akong gawin for free. Yan, yun pala yung ano doon eh, yun pala yung parang clue sa akin. Kasi pwede ka namang magaling mag-teaching, pero hindi ka willing gawin yun for free. That means, hindi mo siguro yun 100% na gusto talagang gawin. Kasi ginagawa mo lang siya tell me by it. I don't know if um, anybody will agree with me. Pero sa akin, yun yung wake-up call ko na, ah, okay, yung niche ko pala is something din na gusto ko at ibig willing akong ibigay ng free. Doon ko naisip yung um, maging trainer ng mga newbies. So I told Ma'am Rosh na what if ganito na lang pala? Ipagsasamahin ko na lang yung matagal ko nang ginagawa versus one thing that I've really been wanting to do. So, naisip ko, um, being uh, being a trainer or being somebody who can help uh, give workshops to newbies to help them understand freelancing and help them transition, yun yung naging way ko para malaman na ah, gusto ko pala talagang mag-give back. And I came from Banawe, Fugao. Nandun po yung Eight Wonder of the World for those people who did not know about that place. <laughs> uh, it's where Banawi Rice Terraces uh, is at. Banawi Rice Terraces. So I came from, uh, I'm actually from there. That's my hometown. Doon kasi um, madaming walang alam or they have no idea what freelancing is. For them, freelancing is online shop, online seller. Ganun lang, online selling. Yun lang ang alam nila. So naisip ko din, magandang dalhin yung platform nito doon because it can help a lot of people, especially in social media marketing. Para hindi lang yung Facebook ng Facebook yung mga bata. You can actually make money from doing Facebook. <laughs> If you uh, only know how to channel it. Yes. Diba? Ang dami nating ano, comments na, Charlene, from mm. uh, the Facebook post, uh, yung live live feed natin, di ba? Of course, we have, siyempre, si CJ, number one. Tin Bagyo, hi, watching from Bataan, silang dawa, dalawa. Si Latip Mish, And Stephanie Gatab, sabi niya, wow. Si Christopher nanonood, Jessa. Go, ma'am, Jessa. And sabi ni Tin, giving value. Go ahead, sure. Si ikaw na yung magbasa sa iba. You want? Um, sige, ikaw na muna. <laughs> Ako muna. Sige, sige, sige. Oh, yeah. Sabi ni Stephanie, ma'am, JJ, so proud of you. And sabi ni Tin, continuously challenging ourselves. Sabi ni May Ann Campaner, nakaka-inspire. Hi, May Ann. Word of the day. Easy. <laughs> si, by the way, si oh, May Ann Campaner, uh, isa din siyang trainer. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. oh, diba? Kasi nga, hindi nga lahat ng, uh, ng description ng mga ng mga DJT graduates ay yung easy. Pero natuwa ko kasi nga, nadalian ka. Ibig sabihin, you had fun 
what yeah, was okay. the most fun a task of all para sa'yo? Yung, ano, hindi yung may aha moment na, ano, hindi, yung fun lang, parang nag-enjoy ka lang. Yung planning, actually. Oh. Diba, yun, actually, kung maaalala ko, yun ang pinaka-first time na nag-volunteer ako within the training, yung planning. Kasi when I was doing that, I really, I, I wasn't doing it just because I need to do it. Nung ginagawa ko siya, nakita mo naman seryoso talaga yung mga nilagay ko din eh. House, car. Talagang pag pinipresyuhan ko, kinakalculator ko pa yun. Ganun siya ka-serious. Kasi serious and fun. Kasi ginawa ko yun because I I I need to dahil requirement. Ginawa ko yun dahil, dahil gusto ko. <laughs> so that for me, that was the most fun part of the training. I think kahit naman yung graduation nung tinanong ako, yun din yung binanggit ko and the 21 day campaign. Actually, the, the 21 day campaign is also a little bit fun. <laughs> a little bit lang. And it was not easy. <laughs> Sige. Para mabawi yung word na sinabi ko. <laughs> Mahirap yung 21 day campaign nga naman kasi di ba may documentation pa. Uh, uh, Sige, okay, so, may uh, Ang tanong ko lang sa'yo is di ba nag-start ka ng 2013? So before that, Um, ano yung ginagawa mo before that at ano yung motivation mo kung bakit ka naging freelancer? Um, before that, I was actually a call center agent. So I entered the BPO company. 18 na kasi ako nung pumasok ako sa BPO company. So at that time, medyo I'm not serious. I'm not really serious about it. I just want to enter because I need money at that time. <laughs> And then... Uh, nung later na sabi ko, may nabasa akong uh, may nabasa akong company na hiring na may HMO. I have no idea what what HMO is all about. Ang alam ko lang na insurance yung life insurance. Yun lang. So, sabi ko, bakit parang ang laki yata ng pay? So, kino-convert ko siya kasi dollars eh. Kino-convert ko. Bakit parang ang laki yata ng pay? Sabi ko, gano'n. Tapos, eto lang sinasahod ko ngayon. Sabi ko, tapos gumagasto pa ako. You know, let's face reality. You work in a corporate setting. Um, yeah. you pay tax, may, may, may mga deductions ka, you pay transportation, you pay food, uh, sometimes you need to, to buy clothes kasi kailangan mong magkambigan mo, pwede nakapansin. Wala nang natitira. Uh, true. Tapos kung ikaw pa yung tao na madaling maaya, oh, you have to pay for leisure time. So, naisip ko, bakit parang ang laki yata ng matitipid ko, sabi kong ganun. So, at first, it was just for financial reasons. And then later nung medyo ako kasi nung pumasok talaga ako, I really have no idea. That will, I will say that the, learn from my mistake. Na pag papasok kayo sa, pag newbie kayo at papasok kayo sa isang interview, you have to really prepare pala. <laughs> my first interview was not easy because I wasn't prepared. Wala akong idea what, uh, there are terminologies that it was jargon for me. I have no idea. Ako na lang, aha, aha okay. Buti na lang, mabilis akong mag-google. So, <laughs> pero I really felt uh, within myself na ay palpak tong ginawa ko. Alam ko hindi ako makukuha. So, nung second interview ko, doon ko talaga ginalingan. So, uh, to everybody, if you are going for an interview, magayos naman kayo, di ba? Mag-supply kayo. Tulad na sabi ni Ma'am Rosh, magdamit kayo ng pang taas. Okay lang nakasharpan kayo sa mga. Hindi naman nila nakikita. Pero at least yung taas man lang, di ba? Mukha kayong professional. Kasi, yung iba kasi, I, I've had this experience where I tried to interview somebody. Pagpasok nila, medyo hindi maganda yung tsura nila. May mga nakahangor sa likod. Phone pa yung gamit nila. Honestly, it's a little bit uh, insulting on my part. Kasi parang, bakit ano bang tingin mo sa freelancing? Ganun-ganun lang ba yun? Na hindi ka man lang mag-prepare ng maayos. ba diba? So, tayo, pag pupunta tayo sa interview, nabanggit na rin to during the training eh. Pumunta naman tayo sa interview, maligo naman tayo. ba diba? <laughs> Hoy, speaking oh, of training, speaking of, oh, oh, tumatawad sa ligo, sukoy na lang. Hindi kasi <laughs> mabiba talaga, diba? Baka oh, matanga oh. yung hindi naliligo. <laughs> okay lang siguro kahit hindi ka naliligo, pero magsukoy ka naman po, diba? Uh, 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 uh. Oye, teka, speaking of that, what was the worst thing that you've experienced sa interview? Yung tumating sa interview, ano yung pinaka-worst na na-experience mo, Jessa? Um, ako, uh, tumating siya nakaspagayit eh. Tapos kagigising. Ang bahay na spaghetti ba or spaghetti na pang party? Spaghetti talaga. Tapos ano, yung likod niya, I don't know kung kusina kasi medyo may nakikita. Parang dirty kitchen yata kasi may mga woods as well as pots sa likod niya. So I'm like, um, I have given you enough time to 
prepare for the interview, right? I mean, you, you are aware that today's your schedule. Sabi niya, ay yes po ma'am, kaso kasi ang dami pang dahilan. So that, I, I, for me, ang feeling ko kasi pag nag-interview ako ng mga ganong tao na parang hindi pinaghahandaan, feeling ko parang linalang lang nila yung ito, yung industry na to, the industry I'm very proud of, parang nilalang mo lang ba? Yun na lang parang ka. tayo, <laughs> parang masalaktan na pang okay, no? Oh, hindi. Ako, um, there was an interviewer, interviewee na sinabihan po. Kasi pagka pasok niya sa interview room, nakapambahay siya. Parang pantulog. Pero hindi naman spaghetti. Oh, pero alam mo pambahay. Sabi ko, um, the interview will be recorded. It will be shown to the clients. I, I'll give you five minutes to change. Yun lang. Mas nag siya. O, di at least mas maganda siya nung pagkatapos. Kasi, um, yun nga eh, hindi natin alam kung sino yung papasok sa interview room. Baka mamaya, uh, si Scarlett so Hanson pala yung mag-interview sa yung kliyente mo. Di ba? O si Johnny Depp pala yun. O, di ba? Or kung Bye, sino yeah. man dyan. O, di ba? Tapos, nag, hindi mo man lang pinaghandaan. So, it's really, um, ano, tawag dito, uh, reminder sa ating lahat na kahit online lang siya, mag ka ng konti kung babae ka kasi talagang maputla tayong tingnan sa camera. Walang oh. background sa likod, di ba? Walang ingay. Kung merong, ano, maingay at di maiwasan, lumayo ka, arrange oh. na. Yung, diba? ano to, yung ginagawa ng isang tao dyan na pag merong, ano, pumapasok siya sa CR, yung magandang, Mm-mm. ano, ng CR. Magandang, magandang side ng wall. Maraming pa nilang banyo yun, no? <laughs> Kasi maingay. May mga ganon. <laughs> Ginawa ko yan one time. Nasa loob ako ng banyo. Oh, oh, hindi ka ba nag e doon? <laughs> hindi. Hindi. Bukas yung pintana. Hindi niya, hindi niya napansin na nasa banyo ako. Kasi ganun talaga hahanapan mo ng parang. Kasi maliit ang bahay ng mga Pilipino, di ba? Tapos talaga minsan, magkasama kay ng nanay mo, ng tatay mo, ng pinsan mo. May nag-video ka sa kapitbahay. So, kailangan mo talagang gumawa ng paraan. O, oh, diba? Pero sige, sure, baka may tanong ka. Ayoko na bumabang ka na. <laughs> okay lang, nag enjoy naman ako sa pakikinig. Okay. Bigyan <laughs> <laughs> mo ako ng ano, bigyan. Tanungan mo naman ako ng tanong na hindi. Ano, so, ano to? Yung... Managama yung word na easy, diba? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, uh, so ganito. Nung, nung nag-start ka ng sa freelancing, bukod doon sa interview, hindi mo alam, ano ba yung mga naging struggles mo pa uh, sa journey mo nag-start ka ng freelancing? Honestly, yung pagiging undergrad ko. Um, hindi lang oh. kasi, <clears throat> I don't know, medyo nagiging emotional ako. <laughs> um, hindi lang pa sometimes kasi sa family mo mismo, parang kabawasan sa'yo. Kabawasan sa pagkatao mo kung wala kang diploma. That is, <clears throat> maybe that is the my very, uh, my very force kung bakit ko sineryoso yung freelancing ko. Kasi, Lagi kong sinasabi yan sa mga interview ko. Dito sa freelancing, um, they don't really care about your diploma. Kahit graduate ka pa ng law, kung hindi mo kaya yung pinapagawa nila, maliligwak ka. Wala ka. Hindi siya easy. So ako, ang biggest struggle ko talaga yung pagiging undergrad ko. Kasi I have one, I have one um, interview na tinanong niya ako, are you, are you a college graduate? Sabi ko, no. Alam mo, Pino yan, no? <laughs> Oo. Tapos sabi ko, magiging problema ba yun? Is that going to be a problem? Sabi niya, well actually, we would prefer uh, we would prefer graduates. Kasi yung palang in-apply ko, um, medical, med, parang patient care coordinator siya. So they would really prefer nursing graduates. Sabi ko, I'm, I'm an undergrad of a medical course. Sabi ko ganun. I'm an undergrad of a medical course, but I know na kaya kong sabayan yung mga nurses. Niyo. Maybe I will, sabi ko, talagang linulok ko yung pride ko, sinapalan ko yung mukha ko. Sabi ko, maybe I will even surpass them. Sabi kong ganun. <laughs> kaya niya ako kinuha sa sa job. And, syempre, kapag nag, nagbibitaw tayo ng mga ganong salita, kailangan natin panindigan. So, nung pumasok ako sa job na yon, mas mababa yung rate ko kaysa sa kanila. And um, our job there is to call clinics in the United States and convince them to try our products. So para din siyang appointment setting, but so ang quota namin is how many doctors we are able to convince to try us. Parang mga ganun, to try the product of the company. And pinanindigan ko naman yung sinabi ko na mas mataas yung numbers ko sa kanila. Pero naging honest na sa akin yung OM na hindi niya talaga ako tataasan ng rate because undergrad daw ako. So, Ang sad, ano? Yes. Alam, imagine mo, kunyari, sa isang araw, sampu sa akin, tapos yung nurse na kasunod ko, isa lang. 
pero mas mataas yung sahod niya kaysa sa akin. Parang medyo na, nasad naman ako yung, ay, meron pa lang pa rin palang ganito dito na, alam mo yun? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. siguro yun yung wake up call sa akin din na, na ay, ganito pala dito sa Philippines talaga. It's a reality sometimes. Nanggaling na rin yan kay Mr. John Pagulayan. I remember it very clearly. Eh, na parang ang tingin sa'yo kapag hindi ka nagtapos, wala ka. Tapak-tapakan ka lang, ganun. Well, now, <laughs> tignan ko lang kung may ako pagsabi pa lang ganun sa akin ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's really sad na iba yung tingin talaga ng tao if you were not able to finish college. Kaya yan din yung mga ina-advise ko sa mga kapataan ngayon. Magtapos sila ng pag-aaral para walang reason. Para mas marami silang option and walang reason para maramdaman nila yung naramdaman. No? Di ba? Mas, mas marami silang options in life. Mas maraming opportunities na pwedeng dumating sa kanila at mamimili na lang sila. Hindi nila kailangan patunayan pa yung sarili nila that they're better from, you know, from kung sino man yung mga kasama nila o kasabayan nilang mag-apply. Di ba, Shurls? Yes. Naalala ko si Shurley yung dati. Graduate na. Nag-aral pa ulit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, panang- I'm not ulit. saying, uh, I'm not saying to everybody na hindi nyo kailangan magtapos. No, that, that's not what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that if life gives you hardship at nagkataon na hindi mo pa hindi ka talaga pinalad na makapagtapos. Katapos. Diba? Kailangan mong ibawi sa ibang bagay. Hindi, hindi ka na nga nakapagtapos, nililimit mo pa yung sarili mo na hanggang dyan ka na lang. Ganun mm-hmm. kasi yung yung dating sa akin eh. Wala ako sa bagay na to, so ibabawi ko na lang sa kabila. Ganun. So bumawi ako sa skills talaga. Bumawi ako sa skills, bumawi ako sa performance. Para hindi nila, actually, kung hindi ko naman sasabihin na undergrad ako ng dating course, o hindi nila malalaman pag nagsasalita ako, nobody will know unless I tell them. So, ganun tayo. Hindi ibig sabihin na pag wala tayo sa isang bagay, wala ka na. Meron at merong, meron at merong part na babawi ka. Kasi ano yan, ganyan sa life. Wow! <laughs> ganyan sa life natin eh. And nothing is perfect, to be honest. Nothing is perfect. But what you can do, sabi ni Ma'am Rush, if life gives you lemon, cheap coffee. Magkape ka. Ganun. <laughs> 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 so then you were saying something earlier na puto tayo hey, yun. Question lang naman. So, di ba, sa ngayon, di ba, marami ka nang narating. Di ba, napakita mo na doon sa mga nang mata sa iyo kanina na ah, dati na ibas na si Jessa ngayon. Jessa, 2.0 ka na ngayon. So what is your proudest accomplishment naman? Uh, for me, my proudest accomplishment is being able to hire yung mga nagsisimula pa lang mga wala. Alam mo yun, yung mga... Kasi ako, I prefer to hire new leads. During interview kasi, I have applicants parang nahihiyang sabihin na wala silang experience. Na hindi daw sila nagtapos, wala silang experience. They're just looking for baka sakaling hindi daw sila makuha. What I tell them is, you know what? I actually prefer to hire new leads. Sabi kong ganun. Sometimes kasi I love to give chances. I love to give chances, lalo na sa mga tao na parang feeling nila wala ng pag-asa. Kasi I want to become part of somebody else's journey. Alam mo yun, masarap kasi sa feeling yung may nagtitake you sa'yo eh. That's one of yeah. the reasons why we would like to help. Masarap sa feeling yung may nagtitake you na uh, siguro after two years may dumating sa'yo. Uy, thank you ang manager na pala ako ngayon. Salamat sa ligyan mo kami chance naman. Gusto ko yung ganun. So ako, my biggest accomplishment right now aside from my family of course hindi ko sasabihin na yung position ko. Kasi yung position ko, um, anybody can can anybody can have that position that that I have. Hindi yun accomplishment para sa akin. Ang accomplishment is how I use my position to help other people as well. Yun ang accomplishment para sa akin. Yun ang accomplishment ko sa ngayon. So I have VAs na wala talagang experience. They are doing really great right now. I think one of them is watching right now. So alam niya sa sarili niya. Wala siyang Um, nung, nung sumali siya sa amin, medyo hindi rin maganda yung pananalita niya, nahihiya siya, nabablanko siya sa call. Kasi alam mo na may mga Americans, they would just say what they want to say. And yung agent namin, yung BA namin na yun, katatameme siya. Pero ngayon, kaya na niyong magsabi na, oh, what? Tuwa ganun siya sa mga calls niya. Talaga very confidential. And it's really my proudest moment to see one of the BAs. Uy, alam ko kung saan galing niya na. Tingnan mo na siya ngayon. Yun ang, yun ang achievement para sa akin. 
Pinilig naman ako doon. Totoo yun, di ba? Yung achievement yun. Nakita mo yung tao na from zero to hero. Na? Yes. So, nakita yung, mo yung journey. Oo, yung... Hmm. Masaya yun. Kasi alam ang part ka ng journey na kung bakit siya naging ganun. Although... Um, hindi ikaw yung pinakadahilan pero naging part ka part ka o na ikaw yung isa sa mga umagapay sa kanya ah, ayan na naman matagalog ni Shirline <laughs> malalim ah, oh. sige may isa pa akong tanong Jessa ano yung uh, uh, ano yung maituturing mo na uh, how dito turning point mo nung ba, prior to DJT ano yung turning point mo na Nagkahanap ka na ng growth sa buhay mo. Pa, na nag-lead sa'yo to, to really apply uh, in, in DJT program. Mm, how would I term it ba? Siguro yung... Kasi after nung... Uh, before before mag-start yung DJT, umuwi kami sa province. So nung, nung nandun kami, nag-stay, yun ang longest time na nag-stay ako doon. Stay there for almost a uh, month and a half. And pag tinitignan ko, ang daming tambay. Eh, kilala ko yung bata niya, matalino yan. Bakit naman ganyan ginagawa niya ngayon? Alam mo yon sa akin, naisip ko, ano kayo pwedeng gawin para sa mga ganyan? Na parang sinasayang lang nila yung, yung capacity nila. Sinasayang nila yung skills nila. Sinasayang nila kung ano yung pwede pa nilang marating. Kasi tumatambay na lang sila eh. Alam mo yon Lalo na if you know the person personally, na alam mo naman na kaya nila. Sa akin yon ang turning point ko nung nagstay ako sa sa province namin ng ganun katagal, naisip ko, ano kayang pwedeng madala dito na mag-change ng notion ng mga tao na instead na maging marites sila dyan sa tabi-tabi, maging marites na lang sila sa Facebook na kumikita sila. Yung bang ganun? Yeah. Actually, sa akin yun ang, yun ang turning point ko. Um, I had to, I had to involve myself socially kasi nga for a long time when I'm freelancing, when I'm in the freelancing industry, ang naisip ko lang talaga is yung personal goal ko lang kung paano ka ang hat. Nung naging comfortable na ako, doon na ako, ayaw ka na lumabas. Kasi natatakot din ako maghanap ng ibang client dati. Kasi what if maghanap ako, hindi ko ma-handle, I will lose them both. I will lose all of them instead of keeping just one. Mga ganun yung thought ko nun eh. Pero, sometimes pala, personal growth will come from outside of you, outside of myself. Inspiration. So, salamat so, sa mga tambay. Salamat <laughs> sa mga tambay. Salamat sa mga walang trabaho, di ba? <laughs> na, na nagiging ma... Salamat sa mga marites. <laughs> Ayun na yun. Salamat Basahin ko yung, ano, yung message sa Facebook natin. Sabi ni Tin Parana Agdan, so inspiring and amazing. At meron ka ditong pa-shout out. Sabi ni Ron Veles Ratunil. Sabi, shout out ma'am JJ. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rosie, 7.53 already. Mag-ano na oh, tayo. Kailangan natin mag-fops to. Oo. Oh, oh. Sige, 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 sige. Mauna na ako, Shol. So, mauna ka na. Sure. Ano, Ikaw na. Ako na? Okay, sige, hmm. sige, sige. Chesa, parang alam ko naman ang sagot. Morning or night person? Of course, night. Ah? <laughs> Number one online tool you can't live without. Google. <laughs> Wow. Oh, next, regular home office attire. Pajamas. Pajamas. All right. Yeah. Furry Pag- pajamas to be to be exact. Kasi, kasi palating sa kanila nagtaka ako. Yes. Kasi nasa Baguio nga pala siya. Dito we can't afford to wear pajamas. Grabe ang init. <laughs> Ito, where do you go when you're bored or tired considering nasa Baguio ko? Wala sa house. Bahay lang. Oh. <laughs> Makabahay talaga akong tao. Kaya bagay na bagay sa akin ng freelance. Makabahay ako. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Jessa. Shirlene, your turn. Okay. So, if money was no object, what would you do all day? Um, buy food, obviously. <laughs> Ito <Okay>. lang. <laughs> Joke lang. Actually, ano, dream ka nung college. Dream ko makapag-feeding program. Hindi ko pa siya nagagawa sa ngayon, pero medyo nag-start ako ng pandemic, magbigay-bigay. I want to carry on with that very soon. Okay. What would your pet say about you if we ask for a reference? I don't know. Number one, my friends would say, maingay ako, madaldal ako. Loud. Loud and proud. 
Okay. So if your life is a book, what's the title? Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Hindi <laughs> ko matasagot yan. Kesa, ang babaeng palaban. Ha? <laughs> Loud and proud na lang. Ay, hindi, alam ko na pala. If, if my life was a book, alam ko na one word lang ang title niya. Easy. Oh, di ba? Yeah, easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Related. <All> right. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the best thing that happened to you as an online professional? This one. Uh, becoming... Becoming a manager and be able to work with other people other than myself. And what advice could you give? Uh, you could give to aspiring online professionals. Um, inferiority, <clears throat> inferiority is not something that. No, inferiority is something that you can actually just trample. Kaya kaya yung tapakan yung word na yan. Kasi here in freelancing, you don't have to have a diploma to be able to work. Freelancing can prove that anybody, anybody can can go high. Anybody can earn as long as you have the will to do it. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, natutuwa ako sa easy. Chesa, the easy girl. <laughs> Parang ibang connotation na no. no. <laughs> So, yung forward na easy talaga kasi am um, karamihan kasi sa mga training locations talaga sa nila na uh, ano daw sila um the survivors because they survive. Yeah. Pero I think naman kaya naging easy for you kasi you enjoy what you are doing. Kasi gusto ano yung iba kasi yun eh um iba yung pagiging ano to. Uh, basta uh, iba kapag nai-enjoy mo, iba kapag parang pinipilit mo lang. And in your case na enjoy mo. So Ang masasabi ko lang, sa lahat ng gagawin natin, sa mga nakikinig sa atin, ah, diba? <laughs> sa mga nakikinig sa atin ngayon, so kailangan i-enjoy nyo lang yung inyong ginagawa ngayon. So, um, kung halimbawa sa ngayon, yung hindi pa 100% yung plano mo, nasa 60% ka pa lang, huwag ka masyadong na maratil na kailangan gawin ko kaagad yun. I-enjoy mo yung moment. Huwag mo kalimutan na enjoy kung ano ang meron ka ngayon habang you are achieving something dun sa ano to, sa ating goal. O di ba? Kasi ano ngayon eh, time para mag-goal setting tayo. <laughs> so, kailangan uh, i- a goal din natin sa sarili natin na kahit konti lang yung ma-achieve natin, and every, di pa rin konti yung ma-achieve, baka sabihin nila, konti lang yung achieve ko ngayon. So hindi, bawat achievement na nagagawa natin, yung mga little achievement towards our goal, enjoy natin yon at maging feeling proud tayo sa sarili natin. Diba? God, rush! Ako naman, um, andun din yung punto ko kasi na, na, natuwa nga ako sa journey niya. Kaya lang tayo kasi bilang tao, meron tayong a tendency to expect too much from ourselves and belittle what we have accomplished. Um, dun sa proseso, uh, uh, dahil masyado tayo nakafocus dun sa big wins, hindi natin na enjoy yung, yung process. Um, sa, I suggest ko lang sa, sa lahat ng mga nanonood na yun, let's enjoy the ride and focus on growing ourselves rather than focusing on the achievement itself. Kasi pag yung achievement, yung yung pinocus mo, mabigat masyado yun, masyado palaki yun for you. But if you just focus on um, the kind of person that you want to become, if you will just focus on the kind of personal growth that you want to have, kung nakafocus ka lang doon sa kailangan, mag-grow ako every month, may matututunan ako isang bagong tool, for example, or meron akong skill na may improve kung dati medyo uutal-utal kang magsalita, ngayon, hindi na dinadiretso mo na. Little things, ipunin mo yan, milestone kasi yan eh. Then once you're able to, um, ano yun, to, to save enough, all of them, makikita mo yung achievement mo, piliit yan. Kasi hindi na siya may ganong kalaki. Kasi nag-grow ka ng mas palaki dun sa achievement na inaasang-asang. Your, your personality, ikaw, na bilang tao, will grow more than the achievement that you want. Yun yung mas importante dun. So, enjoy the ride. Take it easy. Ayan. Easy. Take it easy. 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 Okay. Ako na ba magko-closing, Rosh? Go ahead, Charles. Ikaw na. Okay. Thank you so much. So, Diba, 7.59 na nang hindi natin nalim malayan talaga. Kailangan natin mag-closing. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And hope to see you again the next 
Wednesday. Uh, please like our page at uh, facebook.com slash fapsco.ph, a national-based cooperative for Filipino online professionals. And you may also find us in Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. And if you have some takeaways in tonight's show, please share this episode so that others can also learn like you. And kung may nakuha din kayo, baka naman pwedeng pa-comment sa ating comment section, di ba? Yung ating mga quotable quotes. Thank <laughs> you, si Jessa. Maraming maraming salamat, Jessa. Yes. Thank you. Pwede bang magpa-shout out? Sure, okay, go shout ahead. Out shout na, out. Bago ko i-close ng i-close na close. <laughs> oh, shout out na pala sa mga co-workers ko nandito, si Joan. Yan. Um, we have VAs from Misamis Oriental who is watching with us. Hello Stephanie, Stephen, Ron. Hello, hello. Hello kay Christine. Thank you. Ha, okay. <laughs> ah, hello, sorry. Sorry, I forgot. Hello pala sa mga co-trainees ko, co-graduates ko. From Baguio. From Baguio. Yeah. Open na po ang Baguio. Pwede na po kayong mag-visit. Wow! Ay, kasi, yung, kasi yung mga taga Maynila, di ba? Ano naman sila Ay, ngayon? Naman sila. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi sila makakalis ng basta-basta. Okay, yeah. so shout out din sa mga nanonood sa atin ngayon, mga FAPSCO members, and also yung mga klase namin ni, ni Rosh, mga student namin. Okay, and thank you, FAPSCO Media, our partner in giving us this wonderful show. So, si, si FAPSCO Media kasakasama natin, hindi nyo nakikita, pero sila yung uh, nasa likod ng ating programa. And join us again next week for another show with another special guest. And for our FAPSCO family, let's, let's keep, keep growing, growing together. together! Bye, everyone! Thank you. Bye.